The work that I'm actually doing these days is called Embodied Presence. It's an integration of the five rhythms movement practice, mindfulness awareness, and neuroscience in the form of interpersonal neurobiology, the name that I would call. And the outcomes for that are that we will become more positive, more resilient, healthier, and hopefully have a great a lot of uh, vitality in our lives. And on top of that, a lot of self-compassion. Because I've been teaching for over 20 years this work, and I have seen huge changes in happening in people. I've seen the movement in the dance floor, and people have come to me and said, I'm not the same person that walked into the workshop that's actually leaving it, even after a weekend, let alone after years of practice. And I have to say, I'm living proof that things do change. I wouldn't have dreamt of contemplating talking like this 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five, maybe even two years ago. But the practice has really helped me to kind of overcome a lot of nervousness and a lot of self-doubt to actually feel, yeah, I'm actually proud of my work and I do want people to know about it. And um, so I've introduced uh, very clearly the neuroscience into the work because with the explosion of neuroscience and information that's there now, we do know that we can change our brains. We're not hopeless cases. We can change our brains until the day we die. We change it by experience, the experiences we have in life, and being aware of the experiences we have in life, and we change it by the intentions and the habits. And my work now is really getting people to become really clear about what their intentions are in coming to this work, and also to be able to take time to look at our habits. Does this habit serve me? And if it doesn't, am I willing, have I a willingness to begin to shape it up and move it and let it go, and a willingness to create something new? Because it's proven that we can create new neurological pathways in our brains, and that gives us great hope and great opportunities for change and for the future, for all of us. And then I think for us, passing it on, and for a lot of my students, passing it on to their children and their grandchildren. So I feel very, very hopeful, I have to say, about this work. I feel a real resurgence in myself about the whole thing with the combination of the three ways of 